So in Marbella today, uh, it's beach repair day. You can see the crew is arriving here now. Uh, some fans due to arrive probably very shortly. Um, there was a storm last week that washed away some of the beach. And that, that happens here because it's quite a, a large open harbour area. Uh, the beach is stretched for many, many, many kilometres. Uh, so the sand gets washed out, but the, uh, the, bring, the bringing sand uh, and they're planted on top of that and then the land. Uh, it's kind of like a beach manicure. Uh, this area here is popular with uh, sun worshippers. Uh, you can see the sun beds and the people there um, on the sun beds today. Uh, also what you get along here sometimes is you get uh, some hey, ladies uh, that specialise in um, massage. Yeah. They typically tend to be from um, uh, Thailand, uh, and they're very, uh, ex uh, they have a very good expertise in knowing about um, reflexology and that type of stuff. So back shoulders, uh, foot massages, all the type of stuff is very, very popular here. Uh, you can see, see them with the uh, sellers. Uh, he appears to have. Uh, um, Gold and handbags today, so he just off them, uh, and you say no, he just came to walk away. Uh, very nice people, uh, really what I have to say, but gener generally you buy for less than half what they ask, you know. So that's it, and um, the uh, tractor, not uh, tractor, beach, um, beach combing equipment, we'll call, we, we call it, uh, seems to be parked up there now. Uh, uh, there will be a written on the arrival of uh, materials. So uh, you can see um, people sitting at uh, the El Sombrero, which is a Spanish word uh, for the sombrero hatch. You can see it there on the sign. And they have some beds out and then you take it on the beach. And further up past that you've got an red. Okay, thank you.